All right, the first one, if you look at that Newman projection from the right side, this is you, and you're looking towards the left, if you're looking that way, <coughs> this is the front and this is the rear. In the front, you have an H, an H, and an H. In the rear, <coughs> You have a CH3, a CH3, and a CH3. So the name of that will be one, two, three. That will be two, two, dimethyl propane. That will be C5H12. C five H twelve. The one on the left, if you look at it from the right side, this is you. You're looking that way. This is the front and this is the rear. The front has an H, an H, and a CH3. And the rear has a CH3. CH3 and an H, uh, an H. So that would be one, two, three, four. That would be two methyl butane. The formula is also C5H12. <coughs> Same formula, different structure, different name. So the first one are constitutional isomers. Isomers. Because they have the same formula, but they have different names. Let's do B. The one on the left is a CH3, CH2, CH3 and then CH2. Hold on. Let me do that again. This one is a CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is hexane. What about the one on the right? CH3, CH3, C, or that's a CH2 rather. CH2, 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 CH3. That is C6H12 as well. Well, there are or H14, C6H14. This is C6H14. Likewise, this is C6H14. And this is also hexane. So the difference is that between carbons three and four, you have rotation. Rotation about C3 and C4, C3, C4. Therefore, the two are conformations of each other. Conformations. Same molecule, there's just rotation about that bond between carbon three and carbon four. <clears throat> okay, let's look at C, the one on the left. This is the front, this is the rear. In the front, you have a CH3, a CH3, and an H. In the rear, you have an H, a CH3, and a CH3. One, two, three, four. That will be two, three, dimethyl. Butane, isn't it? 
So that will be C6H14 is its formula. One, two, three, four, five, six. The one on the right, the front is that, this is the rear. In the front, you have a CH3, a CH3, and an H. In the rear, you have a CH3, a CH3, and an H. So what would that be? That would be 2,3-dimethyl-butane. C6H14. So both are 2,3-dimethyl-butane. On the left, the two H's are farthest away from each other. On the right, the two H's are closer to each other, but they're the same molecule. There's just rotation about the C3, C4 bond. So therefore, these two are conformations of each other. And finally, oh, this one, cis one two. Port, port D, cis-1,2-dimethylcyclopentane, trans-1,3. So they have different names. They're both uh, disubstituted cyclopentane. So these two are constitutional isomers. isomers. This one is C7H14. This one is C7H14 as well. One is 1, 2 and the other is 1, 3. So they are not stereoisomers. They are constitutional isomers of each other. And the last one the one on the left is cis one ethyl four methyl cyclohexane. The one on the right is also cis one ethyl. 4 methyl cyclohexane. So it's the same molecule, cis 1 ethyl 4 methyl cyclohexane. But on the left, the ethyl is axial or equatorial. The methyl is ethyl is equatorial. And the methyl is axial. The one on the right, the ethyl is axial and the methyl is equatorial. So that means that the two are conformations of each other. Conformations.